God's word in Psalms 51 verse 10 says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. It is time that you ask God for a clean heart, a new and a responsive heart, so that God can renew everything around your life. So that God can set aright everything that has not been in order in your life. The word of God in Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 26 says, And I will give you a new heart, and I will put a new spirit in you, and I will take out your stony, stubborn heart and give you a tender, responsive heart. God wants to give you a heart that would respond to him a heart that would always listen every time he's calling a heart that would pay attention to god at all times a heart that will be able to worship a heart that will be able to remain true to god that was why his songwriter wrote created me a clean heart and purify me so that I may worship you. Cast me not away from your presence. Please do not take away your spirit from me and I will rejoice and worship you. Beloved, if there is anything that you must know that God wants you to have today, it is a clean heart. It is a heart that is responsive to Him. Not just a clean heart, not just a new heart, but a heart that is tender and that is void of every stubbornness. The heart that is foreign to every form of rebellion. God wants to give you that heart that would yield to Him. That heart that will say yes to him at all times. That heart that would yearn and seek after him every moment in time. And so God wants you to ask him like David did and cried unto him sincerely for a clean heart to be created within him. For a clean heart to be created within him because he knew that things were not in order. He knew that he needed to get things right. And for him to get things right, he needed a new heart. He needed a clean heart. He needed a responsive heart. You're demanding from God to create in you a new heart, a clean heart, and a responsive heart doesn't entirely make you a bad person. But you are seeking to be better. You are seeking to get right from all the wrongs you have made. You are seeking to put a cross on everything around your life that would desire a fixing. And so you are demanding for that heart that is cleansed and new and absolutely responsive to God. And such we have another spirit that is in operation in them. Those who have demanded for a clean heart, for a new heart, will have the right spirit functioning and working within them. And this was what David understood because he wanted to be put aright in everything that he does. And he knew the only person that could help him achieve it is none other but the Holy Spirit and that can only work when he had received a new heart, a clean heart and a responsive heart. And beloved, this is what I want you to make demand on today so that God will come and take his place again in your life, so that God will come and be the Lord of your life again, so that God will take away every stony heart that has not listened to him in the previous years, that has not listened to him before now. So everything around you 
we dare towards the place that God is. So everything around you will be so conscious of God that you want to get everything right around your life. Understand that the newness of heart is for all and not only for some. We can be quick to think only the sinner needs a new heart. But a heart that isn't totally and completely right and loyal with God needs to be changed and needs to be made anew. Even though they may be God's workmen, they may be in the service of the kingdom of God, but when things are not properly in order, even as the steward of God, you need to demand that God should give you a new heart and a clean heart. You may be a preacher, an evangelist, a deacon, leader of songs, prophet, an apostle, an usher, whatever you do in the kingdom of God. Beloved, if you are not doing it completely to glorify God, you need to ask God to give you a clean heart. If in everything you do, you want to be recognized instead of God, you need to ask God for a clean heart. If the heart is not renewed and cleansed, it is certainly true that that heart will not be absolutely responsive to God. So we need a clean heart, we need a new heart to be truly responsive to God. And by this, you can only see that your life will be open to new encounters with God as He reveals Himself more and more to you and as He becomes alive to you. So wherever you are and whoever you are, regardless of your position, regardless of your status, you need to ask God to make your heart clean, new, and responsive so every day breaks everything that doesn't and won't to glorify him around your life could check out with ease so that God can see every avenue to pour in you the new wine because there is no way the new wine can be poured into an old wine skin there is no way it will remain the word of God in Mark 2 verse 22 says, it will burst. So you need to come to that point of asking the Lord, please make me anew. Purge me and turn my life around until I've become that very image that is pleasing to you until everything around me is looking for you sincerely. So if believers can't be humble and sincere enough to themselves in their going to God, little or no progress may be made. And such was the desire of the pilgrims. They desired to know God anew every day. And heaven was open to them because God constantly gave them a new heart. Don't think you know God enough yet. Don't think you are well positioned and placed with God yet. And so you could misbehave and do all that you think is okay. You should come to God sincerely and I'm assured that He would reveal Himself to you. He will give you the heart that is responsive, the heart that will seek immediate adjustment and a heart that want to be rightfully aligned at all times. The known prophet encountered God, and the next thing he would say is, I am a man of an unclean lips, Isaiah chapter 6 verse 5. He was known, he was a prophet, but when he truly encountered God, he knew he wanted something new. And praise be to God, the angels came and touched his mouth with a coal of fire. This is what it means when you demand of a new heart because you know everything around your life needs to be refreshed. That doesn't make you a sinner in any way. That doesn't mean you go to some brothel and do some things that are awkward. That doesn't mean you live a life that is not worthy of God. But the more cleanliness you want upon your life, the more of God you want to crave for. 
and the best I can say, you'll be able to dispense your duties and responsibilities to God. So beloved, like Peter who would encounter Jesus, I will cry and say he should leave him because he was a sinner. And at this point, he was the leader of the apostles. I pray that you will come to that point of encountering Jesus. I pray you will come to that point of encountering the light of the Lord. So everything around your life will be made brand new. Everything around your life will be beautiful. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God and renew a right spirit within me. I pray this will be achieved in and with you now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.